All right, this is uh, the court's down session. If there are any outbursts, I will hold you in contempt of court. Uh, Mr. Diaz, can you please read the charges that you accuse this individual of? <laughs> uh, yeah, Your Honor. So he's going to be charged today uh, with joyriding, reckless of meeting, and uh, criminal possession of a firearm, Class 1. All right, and is Mr. Braun going to come, or is he MIA? He is on his way. I gave him a call, and uh, he said he was Your coming. Your Honor, we have arrived! Well, I'm glad you arrived. And here he is. <laughs> Hello, Your Honor. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Diaz, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and never the truth? I hope you Mitch. <laughs> I do, Your Honor. <laughs> Uh, before we do start, uh, St. Joseph, I will say that Mr. Shaw is here. I don't know if Mr. Shaw is available to be your court-appointed court attorney, if you would like that. Oh. Or if Mr. Shaw is willing to do so. It's fine, my child. I should be okay. I have some understanding of the laws, as I have been through this process before. Ah, see, Jesus. All right, Mr. Diaz, give your accounts to what happened. Uh... Yes, Ron. So, we were, I was patrolling out front of the courthouse. Um, I got reports of a uh, robbery um, uh, with an individual on an Akuma. Uh, I then uh, patrolled the area circle to just make sure that uh, uh, nothing was suspicious or anything like that. I believe. 40, what up, dude? Uh, I believed at the time that I saw somebody get into Mr. Ron's. Mr. Braun's Porsche with the Akuma behind it, but uh, when I went to investigate, there was nobody inside the car, to my knowledge. Uh, a few minutes later, I saw the I saw the Porsche speed off, uh, heading northbound on Power Street. I uh, attempted to catch up and pull it over. Uh, however, my attempts were in vain as the uh, the driver of the vehicle sped off. I initiated a pursuit with the vehicle um, that transported throughout the city. Um, He's saying he identified me at the end, down which is why I think I can win. City and then um, over towards Popular Street, just past Mission Row. Uh, we did lose, uh, we did lose sight of the vehicle a couple of times. Um, however, the pursuit ended when um, the vehicle crashed and was rendered inoperable. Uh, then uh, I then witnessed uh, the suspect. J Stepping out of the vehicle uh, from the driver's side, um, in, and then as soon as he got who's out of the vehicle, the, uh, he was who's the suspect, Mr. Suspect. Uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Sorry, suspect? Mr. 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 Uh, Joseph here, Saint Joseph. Joshua. Right. Saint Joshua. Yes. Joshua. Sorry, Saint Joshua. What did God say? Was uh, he uh, he stepped out of the vehicle and. Uh, I'm unsure how, but he was rendered incapacitated. He might have had a shock from the from stepping out of the vehicle somehow. I don't. He might have sustained an injury from the crash, but when he stepped out of the vehicle, he uh, then laid himself on the ground and was treated by medical. And uh, why? So whenever you initially uh, began pursuit in the Porsche, what was the reason why you began the pursuit? The vehicle, the vehicle I was trying to pull over was because it uh, it ran through a red light. Uh, I was trying to initiate a traffic stop on the uh, on the vehicle. <laughs> That's a lie. He turned around as I soon see. as it started. Uh, Mr. Jasper, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, the truth? So help oh, me I do, my child. Yes. Uh, give me your side of the story and why you think these these charges uh, are at fault. Well, uh, today, uh, I was walking along, let me see what road it is for you, sir, uh, let's see, it would be, uh, Vespucci Boulevard, uh, just at the top of the crest of the hill, uh, near the gun store, you, you know where that is, my, my friend? I do. Well, I was walking across the top of the road, uh, when I saw, uh, a purple in color, I believe. Not 100% sure the color of the, uh, the Porsche, but it spun out in front of me. 
Uh, two people got out and sprinted to the right, uh, both wearing black clothing and a uh, black balaclava. Uh, I was standing next to the vehicle as I went over to see if everything was okay, and I got struck by a police vehicle uh, almost uh, two or three seconds afterwards. I could not see it coming because it was down the hill and I was at the top of the crest. Mr. Diaz, did you ever see this individual get out of the vehicle? Yes, sir. I witnessed you, him getting out of the vehicle. You did for sure witness him get out of the vehicle? 100%, sir. Because earlier you stated that you believe you saw something else and that turned out to be incorrect. <laughs> yeah, that was that was them getting in the vehicle when I went to search the vehicle. It was, it was tinted so dark I couldn't see the inside of the vehicle, but the door so was open this time. So you believe you saw him get in the vehicle? And then you turned out to be incorrect, so I'm supposed to take at face value that now you saw him get out of the vehicle, and that's supposed to be correct. Uh, Your Honor, what I said was I believe I saw him, but at the time I wasn't 100% certain, so I wasn't going to open up a individual's door when I didn't have 100% uh, proof that somebody got in the vehicle. But I have 100% you know, proof that he got out of the vehicle, so I witnessed him get out of the vehicle. Are you the only officer that witnessed it? Uh, Joey, did you see him? I Joey was, was in the chase, sure. but I Wait, was down the hill. Wait, before you say something, Mr. Joey, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, the truth, to help you, Mitch? You need to be under oath. I do. All right, go right ahead. I was also in the chase with Deputy Diaz here. Can't see the uh, unfortunately, can you at the time when yeah, can you, can, can you just um, jump around? St. Jasper supposedly stepped out of the vehicle, I was down the hill a bit, and uh, it's a simple yes just or no. catching up to him. Did you see him get out of the vehicle, yes or no? No. All right. Mr. Braun, I believe you're called here as a witness. Can you step forward? Uh, your uh, Honor, yes, could, Your Honor. Could you instruct uh, Joey, I believe, Keys to move around? Uh, me and Mr. Payne seem to have yeah. a problem. Uh, Mr. Not, Keys, could you please... I'm not seeing uh, any other officers besides DS. Uh, not do your stance and then uh, then resume your stance? Just, uh, just just remove the cough stance. I better, Your Honor. For a second. That good, guys? Nope. No. Uh, Maybe hop around a little Just bit keep... there, Mr. Keys. Uh, there, he uh, there he is. There he is. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. <clears throat> um, who goes first? Uh, do I go uh, first? Or... I'm confused. You do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth to help you, Mitch? Shouldn't I also be on that side? I I'm the do. defendant. I'm, I don't know how this uh, works. Mr. Diaz, do you have any questions you want to ask Mr. Braun? Uh, uh, the only question I have, uh, Mr. Braun, did uh, did you allow St. Josper here to uh, drive your vehicle? No, I did not. Defense is on the left. Okay, maybe I'm a potato. Did you, uh, did, where did you leave your vehicle, sir? Uh, to the best of my recollection, I left my vehicle outside of the uh, county courthouse uh, while on some real estate dealings with Mr. Payne, who's present here, and uh, Mr. Shaw. Objection, Your okay. Honor. This witness is unintelligible. Mr. Payne, if you outburst like that one more time, I will hold you in contempt. You are merely nothing more but a witness to this. Why do I have... Shh. Don't say a word. If I need to repeat my statement uh, for intelligibility purposes, I'm more than happy to. It's just a... Mr. Diaz, ask him the question again and let him repeat it. I love court. It's uh, such a good waste of time. It's always fun. Where did you, uh, where did you last uh, leave your vehicle, <clears throat> sir? Yeah. To the best of my spot. recollection, I left it outside of the county courthouse while on real estate dealings with Mr. Payne and uh, Mr. Shaw, who are present here with me today. If I lose, ask for time served. No, I'm fine. I'll go with whatever sentence I get, dude. Unlocked. I'm just glad we get to do uh, this shit. Always Yo, locked. peanut butter and hit it. Thanks for the uh, subs, dude. I'm sure the okay. judges and lawyers. Well, yeah, the judge. Uh, 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 the judge too. 
Mr. Jasper, do you have any questions you'd like to ask uh, Mr. Murphy? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, my child, what color is your vehicle? It is black. Uh, and uh, are your windows tinted? Yes, sir. Are you able to see through them from the outside? No, sir. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wish to ask. Anybody have any more questions for Mr. Braun? <laughs> uh, I do not, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Braun, you can step Neither down. Do I. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Diaz, uh, I do have a couple questions for you. Uh, so, where did you find, uh, whenever you came to the vehicle, where did you find uh, Mr. Jasper's uh, body land? She said he was incapacitated, correct? Uh, so the chase ended on the, on the corner of S Supply Street and Vespucci Boulevard. Uh, I found his body, uh, I found his body about, uh, ten or so meters in front of the vehicle. Uh, it, he did step out of the vehicle, uh, and then he laid down uh, on the ground. Can I question him? Because I'd love to be uh, able to question him. Moved, uh, <laughs> Would somehow I don't know how to explain it, Your Honor. Explain it to the best of your ability. Uh, it was like one second he was laying on the ground next to the car. The next he was laying on the ground ten meters in front of the car. I was never laying down at all. And whenever he exited this vehicle, and whenever he went and got on the ground, at no time did you lose any uh, visual of it. Uh, negative. Why? Not until uh, right. not I until he moved ten meters in front this. of the. Not until he moved ten meters in front of the uh, the vehicle. So I want I want to repeat this to make sure I heard it correctly. So whenever he got out of the vehicle and whenever he was laying on the ground, all the events that happened in between that, uh, you saw. Object to my lies? How can I object to that? It doesn't make sense. It's fine. Uh, technically he did when he magically moved, sir. But uh, when he was uh, from the point that he got out of the car to the point he laid on the ground, he was in the the whole time, and then afterwards he he moved forward. I see. Um, Mister Mister Jasper, did you have something you wanted to say? Ah, uh, well, uh, I could explain more of that situation, but am I able to question the police myself? Uh, absolutely. Well, I would love to uh, talk to the man over here with the nice mullet, if possible. Uh, before well, doing that, since like it's fresh in our mind, should I uh, elaborate uh, on what uh, sure, what happened in that scenario, or, uh, from my point of view? Uh, feel free. Okay, well, I was never laying on the ground at any point until I was struck by a police vehicle and then I was flown 10 meters forward uh, in which I was uh, incapacitated until the medics arrived. And that's what I would like to inform uh, you, my sir. <clears throat> Absolutely. All right, feel free to uh, question Mr. Diaz. Uh, just here automatically. Uh, Hello, sir. Uh, could you explain the injuries found uh, on my persons when you arrived at scene, or what the medic said? Uh, I didn't get a medical report from Ducksworth at all. I will... Very what good I found police work. Is you had some sort of uh, you had some sort of you had impact damage uh, to your to your body. Okay. Uh, and the vehicle that was uh, parked at top of the uh, the crest uh, once crashed to a complete stop. Uh, what angle was it uh, on uh, at the top? In, in 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 was it parallel with the road or on a different angle? Is what I'm asking. It was on a diagonal angle. To the right or to the left? The, uh... Uh, it was the rear end of the vehicle was facing uh, south east, southwest bound. 
and the uh, the front of the vehicle was facing. Okay, so in in parallel to the road, it was facing to the right, is what you're saying. Uh, if no, if you're facing if you're facing towards the mountain, it was facing uh, was facing slightly towards the left. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. That's all I'd like to ask you. Uh, I would I actually like to ask this officer the same question if possible Because from my recollection it was facing to the right Mr. Keys, do you do you know which way the vehicle was facing? Uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head your honor Well, that's very convenient so, uh... <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Jo uh, Jasper, what, what, so you're asking this question to make a point. What's the point you're trying to make? Well, uh, I'm not sure exactly where this man was, and I was, was going to ask this, but uh, the vehicle at the top of the crest was on a right angle uh, facing uh, away from the road. So if this officer was down the hill looking up, he would never have been able to see the driver's seat or driver's door of that vehicle until he was up next to the vehicle. <clears throat> yeah, that's the point I'm making. Uh, but am I able to continue questioning? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what, what did we just ask? We already asked if we. Oh, when you saw the vehicle, or apparently me exit the vehicle, did you see me sitting in the vehicle at any point? Um, did I see you sitting inside the vehicle? I saw you getting out of the vehicle, sir. Yes. Did, did you see, you see me in sitting vehicle? in the vehicle? Uh, the only time, the only time I saw you stationary inside the vehicle is when you flipped the bird at me uh, on Alter Street at the traffic light when we re-engaged the pursuit with you. Flipped the bird through the tinted windows that nobody can see through. Interesting. The window was down. Okay. Okay. No. Uh. So. You've never seen me sit in the vehicle uh, at the top of the hill, like you're you're saying. Is that is, is that what is that correct? You didn't see me sitting in the vehicle. At the time you were getting out, I did not see you 100%. I saw you getting out of the vehicle. So. Okay, so how could you see somebody exit a vehicle if you did not see them inside the vehicle? As a source, I did not see you 100% inside the vehicle. At the time okay, I that's enough. Thank you. Good uh, Mr. Diaz, he can step down. Thank you, Your Honor. Do, uh, do any of you have anything else to, to add to this? Uh, I'm fine I if you're asking me. No closing statements for either of you? Nothing you want to throw out there? I mean, I the could do a closing statement, sure, but I... Uh... I guess so, if you would like. All right, let's let the uh, the plaintiffs do the closing Except statement first. Is it Diaz? Would you like to give me your best closing statement? The fuck? Uh, uh, the, uh, actually, before the closing statement, I do have the uh, the weapon that was found on uh, as one of the charges. It has been overlooked since now, but I will bring it up. The, I don't uh, need to have my rights read to be... Um, uh, that belongs to a Mr. Ha Jokane. Have any physical evidence uh, done, it's fine. Rights are for questioning, chat. Relax, firearm. dudes. I just wanted Mr. To, uh, Jasper, are you contesting the weapons charge? Uh, I will be, uh, under grounds of, uh, an illegal search. As I did not commit any crimes. So you're saying that you didn't commit a crime, so the Fourth Amendment was violated? Yes. I got gotcha. you. Alright. Uh, what's your closing statement, then, Mr. Diaz? Uh... I, I think the I think I'm good with closing statements, so I don't really have one. Yeah, don't so, if you guys are over in his channel giving him shit. Any mods can please ban him your here. Point of why you in the boots, you saw that man get out of the vehicle? The anything? I mean, I've I've said I've said everything, so that I'll just go in in circles. I, I witnessed him getting out of the vehicle. That's really all I have. I saw him getting out of the vehicle. He was yes, Mr. Diaz. The court of law is circles. That's the whole point. You complete. You can. You keep doing the circles until you come out on top. That's how court works. But nonetheless, if you don't make a closing statement, that's fine. Don't be a 
Uh, Mr. Jasper, would you like to close the statement? Yes, I would love to make a closing statement. Today, my children, we have witnessed a police officer say he has seen somebody exit a vehicle in which he never saw him inside. That is the grounds in which my rights were violated horribly today. My persons were searched after being struck by a police vehicle at high speeds while crossing the road. This man now, is an animal, Jasper. an absolute animal uh, who has injured a civilian and not rendered him the proper aid. He did not even kneel down and put pressure on my wounds as I bled. He did nothing. And here he is in control now, of a weapon Jasper, and a badge. Does. <laughs> so you interrupt my courtroom one more time, I will hold you in contempt. You understand me? Hey man, shut the fuck up, man. They're doing court talks. So I apologize, my child. If if I could be put in jail and have my rights violated, all because he seen me near a vehicle, then so be it. Hopefully the judge understands uh the true reason for law. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Mr. Diaz, can you give me those charges one more time so I can make sure I have them correctly? Uh, Deborah, no, that's Jesus got to be joyriding, reckless evading, and uh, criminal <laughs> possession of a what firearm, class one. All right, I'll go in my chambers. Uh, I'll be back with you. Uh, court's in recess. If there's any outburst while I'm gone, I will hold you in contempt. Hey, Jesus, you got this, dog. You got this, Jesus. Court's in order. Five hundred dollars. I, I have came to an verdict, and I thought about this, and uh, I've taken everyone's testimony into account. Appreciate you trying to protect now, my brother. Now on the hey man, do I the account of right, Jesus, uh, reckless evading and the account of uh, Mr. Diaz, you said it yourself right before in your testimony that you believe you saw something, and that turned out to be incorrect. Then you're going to turn around and try to condemn a man based off uh, of something that you already proved in court. Could not be what happened of your own testimony. How am I supposed to take your word for it that happened whenever you said merely minutes before that you made a mistake itself? I'm going to find the defendant not guilty on joyriding and not guilty for reckless evading, but being that his body was near the scene of a stolen vehicle, you did have reasonable suspicion to search him. So I am going to find him guilty of the gun charge. <laughs> I'm going to sentence him to time served and a $500 fine for that charge. Jasper. Jasper. Thank you, Your Honor. I it's fine, my child. Don't statement. worry. It's time served. It's $500. It's fine. This is blasphemy. Yes, yes, this yes. Blasphemy. So be it. This should not taint your rocket. Yeah, can we get the fucking robot to pipe down over there? <laughs> Uh, this might be. Yes, if you could you step forward, yourself? and Mr. Jasper, you can step forward and uh, book him for the possession of the Class 1 firearm with the time sub and Jump the $500 deal. fine. I told you. All right, that, the closing. that was cut and dry. Who's that guy's lawyer? I know it wasn't freaking Murphy Broad. Everyone's so loud you, today. You gained you, nothing by not about? doing the closing, and you lost everything. Okay, uh, right. so just uh, the five hundred dollar fine here for you, Saint Jasper. <laughs> You're lucky the judge wasn't here yesterday. He would have tore you another new asshole. Mhm. Mm okay. Oh shit! Dallas, why Jesus? <laughs> Don't have any doubt with that. That's my brother. <laughs> right. yeah, US, uh, that should hit your account relatively soon. Uh, thank you for your time, Your Honor. I really appreciate it. Thank you for wasting mine, uh, officer. You have a good day. Thank you, mm -hmm. uh, kind judge. I do appreciate uh, your work today. You gotta jump the S. Absolutely. Mr. Jasper, if you want to borrow my car in the future, you just let me what know. I tell you. To work something out. I was never in it. Yeah, true that. I mean, 